What's up guys, my name is Achena and welcome to episode 8 of 3D Game Programming in Java. Now, there are a few things I want to talk about today, but first of all, um, I want to sort of touch a bit on, on alpha support that we added. Um, because I think I added that in like episode 6 or something. I didn't really talk about how it worked um, or what it did actually at all. Um, and that was because I was in a bit of a hurry, but now I've got time. And yeah, so I'll explain it. Um, Basically what we did by adding alpha support is we allowed ourselves to sort of have pixels that um that didn't really, you know, that didn't contain any value that didn't, that didn't like show up basically. Um and the best way to show this is whoa, what's up with that? There we go. Um is let's just if we hit debug um I don't know what's going on with this with this whole reset. I think it's something to do with my screen recording. Recorder. Wow, that's crazy. There we go. Um, if we um, if we go ahead here and let's just um, multiply this by next. Int um, put five in there. Divide by four, and we need brackets. Um, then you'll see that we've sort of got transparency now. If you if you compare it with what it was like that. I can't actually do this sort of, it won't change live. Um, there we go. That's sort of solid, as you can see, if you just remember what that looks like. Um, you can test that out at home um, on your computers. Um, yeah, so you can see that, that sort of did that. And if we, if we sort of erase this code, this if statement, then you'll see that yeah, no alpha support. Um, so that's sort of what it did. It enabled us to sort of have, I guess, void pixels, pixels that contained no data, um, and that's that will be really important in the future, as you uh, as you would would think. Um, yeah. Okay. So the second thing I wanted to do is this this sort of this this animation method that we're using right now isn't really like it's not it's not really practical. Um, so what I want to do is I want to sort of create a class which handles, I guess, timing. Um, so let's go ahead and in, in this um, in this main package in this in our main package which contains our display class. Um, I'm gonna make a a class, a new class called game, and it's gonna be very simple. This is gonna handle time, so I'll make a public variable, an integer, and I'll call it time, and I'll also make a method, public a public method void um we'll call it we'll call it tick and that's just gonna be adding one value to time one unit one unit to time um every time it gets called and what we'll do here is we'll come in and we'll go game game and let's just import it and we'll sort of replace all this stuff with game dot time um and what else do we need to do to that? We need to let's add I to it first of all. And then Oh well we also need math.sign and no. The usual the usual stuff. Um <clears throat> I don't know that. Let's just see what that looks like. Oh okay. Yep. Okay, let's just pop game into here because we we added a new parameter to this to this method called game. So we need to call that here and let's go ahead and yeah we'll have to okay we'll have to create that object. So private actually let's pop this right here. Private game game and yeah no worries let's see if that works. Whoop exception didn't work. Okay, let's actually read the exception. A null pointer exception. Okay, so we've had two exceptions so far in our quest for a game. Um, and the first one was an array index out of bounds exception, which basically said that, you know, you tried to use more values in your array than you could than it could handle. You try to use more more um more things in the array, it ran out of bounds, you know, you went out of bounds. Um But here it's a null pointer exception, so I'll I'll explain what that is. Um 
real quick. Basically, a null pointer exception is telling us that we're we're trying to assign a value of null. We're trying to use an object with a value of null um, in a place that we actually can't. So it needs to have a value. It can't be kept it as null. Um, so I'm not sure where we're doing that, but if we do do that real quick, so it's basically saying uh, it's game dot time um, something to do with hmm. Oh, actually, let's first of all let's add game dot tick into here, and we'll see if that hmm that didn't fix it. Okay, let's just. I don't know what's going on, so this is some some live live debugging I'm doing for you guys. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, so we didn't actually assign anything to game. That's probably why. Um, basically, okay. I'll let's just see if this fixes it first. Yeah, it did. Um, basically, what we did wrong here is we um is we we sort of we initialized we created that object, but we didn't assign it to anything. See with like screen, when we created screen, we set screen equal to something. We set it equal to a new screen, to a new instance of that class with two parameters. We didn't do anything for game though. We just said game game and that's it, you know, it doesn't equal anything. So Java automatic automatically thinks, okay, if, if you didn't put anything, it's basically making it equal to null. And if we try and run this, you know, it, it it'll fail. It'll, it'll say it'll say that it's a null pointer exception because we can't assign the value of null to this. So yeah, we need to assign a new instance of that object, and now it works. So yeah, that's a nice um, fix right there. That was quick. Good thing that was quick as well. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Um, go away. Okay. So we've sort of got this. I think it's working properly. Let's go ahead um, and game dot time plus i. Let's just I don't know times this by one hundred. Save that. Where did we get there? Oh, we got a syntax error. Nothing too fancy. Okay, so that that's they're moving. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and bring up. What am I doing? Okay. Interesting. So they're moving. Um, what if we times that by 1,000? Interesting. That's not going to work. Okay. I'm just sort of playing around with this right now. I'm trying to get to work properly. Game.time plus i. Actually, okay, so what did we have before? An M0. Um, we had int, we had system dot current time milliseconds, um, and we took the remainder of that, divided by 1000, and we also added, that's right, we added pi to it, we multiplied it by pi, I mean, and then we multiplied the whole thing by 100, and that worked, I think. Let's go ahead and um Okay. Oh and we also obviously add math.sign. I call it sign because sin is like the abbreviation for sign. Um what are you doing here? Okay, we don't need that. That's right. Okay. Let's save that and let's see what this does. Yeah, see that worked. Okay, interesting. Let's do the same thing here. Oh, and if we add i to it. Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's sort of try and mimic that here. Um, if we go ahead and take that, divide it by that, and then multiply it by 100. Let's see what that does. Okay, so that sort of worked. Um, okay, yeah, that, that seems to work. Let's come in here and do the same thing. Percentage. Um, we'll talk about a bit about what this actually means, this operator, a bit later. Basically, it's taking the remainder of that 
Um, it's I'll we'll talk about that next time because we don't have time. Okay, let's see what this. Let's see if this works. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. It did work. Um. Sort of actually. Okay. Let's just turn this. Um. Actually, let's just times that by i. This should be crazy. Okay. It's yeah. It's fair enough to say that it worked, I guess. It's not really doing the circle thing. Um, okay, it is doing the circle thing. I wonder if it's just... Oh, okay, no, it's not that. Okay. Um, turn, maybe. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> okay, I'm sort of playing around with this. Um, what if we sort of do that? Sort of go slow down. It's still going way too fast though. I'm not sure why. That's just, yeah, that's that's odd. Um, we're still getting a nice. What's our frames per second? Oh yeah, we're still working. That's all right. Um, okay. So yeah, generally, generally we're good though. We're in the clear. Um, times one thousand. It for some reason doesn't work at all. Okay. Let's just divide that by like two or something. Make that work a bit better. One hundred. Okay, there we go. That's a bit yeah, that's better. Maybe times that by eight or something. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Um, and if we come into game, we can sort of change this to equal to 3 or whatever, and that'll make it go a bit faster. Okay, cool. Um, so, that, yeah, that's that's working. Let's just delete this. Um, and... It's just minus plus thing going on here. Okay. There we go. Okay, awesome. So we've we've got that working. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is basically what we're going to do is we're going to move on to 3D stuff probably next, probably tomorrow. Um, so to prepare for that, I just want to do one thing. Um, and instead of sort of having this here, like having, having this configuration here where we just have a normal thing, I want to actually uh, make a dimension out of it. Um, we'll call it size equals a new dimension and basically what dimension enables you to do is it sort of may it it'll it'll allow you to put width and height into one object which which will actually come in handy quite a bit in the future so let's go ahead and go set preferred size size set minimum size size and we'll set the maximum size to size. So this is the safest way to do it. Just to just to ensure this is all good. Maximum. And because of that, we we can actually remove. Um, uh, where's our set size? We can actually remove that because it should work anyway. And awesome, it does. Hey, whoa. What is what is that? Wow, it looks like we've got a sort of a a a, a border thing happening. Okay, that's what is that? The, our second problem that we've run into today. That shouldn't be there. That's really weird. Let's um. Yeah, I'll I'll try and fix that now. Um, I don't. Hmm. That's hmm. Let's um. Let's set resizable to true and see if it if it stays the same in the same place. Oh, it's not there at all. Oh, yeah, wow. Okay, so it's like an... So we just need to fill a greater area, I guess. Well, that's that's not good. I don't know how that's going to show up on the screen recorder. Um, hmm. Th yeah, okay. So we just need to fill a, a larger area, I guess. Okay, let's, let's try and do this. So what's filling the screen here? Draw image. Let's try and... There we go, that's gotten thinner. 
plus 5. Oh, okay, awesome. So what is that, like 10 pixels? I think it's 10. Yeah, okay, that fixed it. Yeah, that's, mm, that, I, I don't know why that was happening, actually. That's really weird. Hmm. Oh, it's gone now. It'll still be here, though, but it's okay, because no, we haven't actually made a resizable true yet. If we resize it, I, I yeah, like it's, it's still going to be there, but at least we've got rid of it for now. Hmm, that, yeah, that was weird. That was really weird. Okay. Um, so we fixed sort of two burgers live today. Um, and yeah, so next time we're actually going to move on to actually doing the perspective like 3D stuff, and we're going to be we're going to be able to put this into 3D. Um, and actually, you know, maybe I don't know how far we'll get because it's pretty complicated, but I'll try and explain it as 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 good as possible. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.